You probably feel constant guilt over what you did or said and desperately wish you could somehow turn back time and undo all the mistakes. Perhaps you've pictured them with another guy or girl and felt your stomach cringe imagining them kissing or making love with this new person. Just thinking about your ex having a great time with a new person makes you experience a raging internal earthquake and as a result, you're struggling to eat and your health has been suffering because of it. Maybe this overwhelming pain has pushed you into doing irrational and obsessive things. You've probably called your ex hundreds upon thousands of times while sending them endless texts and emailing to the point of oblivion as you pleaded and begged them to give you one final chance, but all you ever got in return was the punishment of even more cruel and agonizing pain. If your situation is really awful, then you've even tried spying on your ex and constantly drive by their home, work, and hangout spots to check up on them. Maybe even obsessively check your phone, email, or Facebook account in hopes that your ex has finally left you a message. But the sad truth is, none of this has worked and you are still left with that cold, distant, and soul-destroying feeling in the pit of your stomach. You feel all alone because nobody understands you. Your friends and family tell you to just move on already, but they don't know what you're going through or how difficult it really is. If you've already followed this pattern and made some or all of these typical mistakes, then you've done a good but unfortunate job of pushing your ex further away. But let me tell you another thing. It is not your fault. Don't beat yourself over thinking and rethinking all of the mistakes you have made till now. It's really not your fault. I know how painful it is to feel absolutely restless and toss and turn all night because your mind won't stop thinking about your ex. I know exactly how it feels when you suddenly find your heart anxiously racing as you feel yourself sinking into this perpetual zone of depression because you just don't know what to do. Unfortunately, we don't come into this world with an instruction manual on how to manage this stuff. We aren't taught about relationships in school or college. 